Hey, what's up guys? Austin with Salt Strong, and today I'm gonna show you how to break down a blue crab for bait. Uh, this guy's live, but normally I'll have them all in a bucket when they're live, and I'll go ahead and I'll cut their claws off before I even get them so that they're not trying to get you while you're uh, reaching down into that bucket. And I'll just take a pair of bait shears and I'll cut their claws off just like that so that you can work with them and you don't have to worry about anything anymore. Um, the next step I'll do is go ahead and make sure I get all of the legs cut off right outside of these little knuckles right here. So we'll go along and we'll cut those guys off real quick. One. That alone can make a great bait for uh, a big redfish or a big black drum. Um, and you can use that just how it is. I recommend to cut off the points of the shell just so they don't poke the fish. Um, and that's a great bait alone. You can take your hook right through that back leg and break, bring it out of the stomach there or out of the top of the shell. You can also take these guys, and what I like to use is these scissors again, and I will cut straight down the middle of the crab just like that. And that is also a great bait for a big redfish, a big black drum. And you also can catch slot redfish on this as well if they're more towards the upper slot. You might want to go down a size if you're fishing for um, smaller puppy drum and stuff like that. Now, that alone is a great bait. I recommend pulling off all of these little pieces, just like that, taking off the, the mouth pieces just to make it more streamlined, especially if you're fishing in current. And if you're fishing in an area where you have pinfish or any type of trash fish like catfish, um, leaving this top shell on can be a great idea because you're, it's gonna be harder for those trash fish to eat all of this stuff out of here with that top shell on. But if you choose to, you also can pull this shell off of there and that makes a great bait right there. Now, if you want to for even smaller redfish, um, whiting and stuff like that, you can cut this guy all the way down into four pieces or even more really. You can cut it at any of these lines right here and that can make a great bait. But we'll go ahead and cut this down. First I'm going to be using this today for slot redfish in the creeks and then later on we're going to go out and see if we can find us a big redfish with a half of a blue crab. Alright guys, so I just seen a redfish tailing right over here where that, where that splash was just at. So I got a piece of cut crab and I'm going to throw it on this jig head. It's just a quarter ounce jig head and I'm going to try to get it over there. The objective really is, is to get it close to him uh, in his path, but not too close, you know, making a big splash and spooking him. Now, as you can see, once I got a good cast over there by the redfish, I then let a little bit of line out of my spool and turn my trolling motor off so that I could drift back just a little bit so I could be sure that I didn't spook that redfish. We got one. There he is. That's him. <laughs> nice. With the blue crab. Good stuff, buddy. There he is, guys. Look how cool he looks. Got the spots all the way down. That is too neat. All right, let's get him back in. There he goes. So shortly after catching a few more of those slot sized redfish on the quarter crab back in the creeks, me and my wife decided to head out closer to our inlet to target big bull redfish. Now the reason why we were able to do this is because in the fall time as water temperatures begin to drop, these big bull redfish come into our inlet to start spawning and they can be a lot of fun. Now the rig that we used to do this was a three-way swivel rig and all I used in this case was a 40 pound leader that's roughly 12 to 14 inches long and a 6-0 circle hook. Uh, and in our case we used a four ounce pyramid weight, but it all depends on how strong the current and how deep the water is in the area that you're fishing. Check out this big bull redfish that my wife caught. Hey, come here. Yeah. You ready? I don't know if she was on. 
Hang on tight. These big bull redfish can put up an awesome fight, especially in fast moving current like we were fishing today. We made sure to get this big guy to the boat as quickly as possible just to make sure he wasn't too exhausted. Once we got him in the boat, we took a couple of quick pictures, but made sure to get him back into the water quickly as well so he could have a safe and healthy release. Yeah, big old boy. So there you have it guys. I really hope this video helped you out on how to catch multiple sizes of redfish on just one blue crab and saving money on them as well by making them go further. If you have any questions on any of this, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. We'd be glad to help you out. And if you really want to bring your inshore fishing skills to the next level, I highly encourage you to check out the Salt Strong Insider Club where we guarantee that you will catch more fish in less time and save money on all the equipment you need to do so by taking advantage of the 20% off that you get just by being an insider member along with all of the courses and other helpful information that you will find at saltstrong.com. I hope to see you there. There's something about the water that'll give you peace all by yourself or with your family. Live salt strong and wear the line today.